So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Well, here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Hey! Hello everybody, Kevin here. We're after 94 welcome back to the channel. And today, we are finally checking out Alone in the Dark, which is a remake slash reboot of the franchise Alone in the Dark. Now, if you guys don't know too much about Alone in the Dark, this is one of the OG survivor horror games to come out at the time. Without this game, there wouldn't be no Resident Evil. Like, I'm not even joking. There probably will not be no Resident Evil if this game hasn't come out. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, you know, after the release of Resident Evil, I'll, we got a whole bunch of tons of other survivor games that are pretty much mimicking Resident Evil, even Alone in the Dark. But now we got the new reboot remake of the first game, which is in a way in the same treatment that Capcom did with Resident Evil 2 and 3 and 4. So I'm very curious to see how this game unfolds, because truth to be told, I have never played any of the oldest Alone in the Dark game. I did play the one that came out on the Xbox 360 slash PS3. Horrible game, but it definitely has a lot of memorable scenes. Specifically the guy, you know, in the fucking cab, and he's like drowned away with all the buildings collapsing, and all shit's blowing up. You guys know what I'm talking about, that game. Like I said, that game was horrible. I could not, I tried to give that game a chance, I couldn't, the game is, is horrible, it's, it's not good to play, but I think it makes up for the crazy action set, uh, set piece uh, that it has to offer, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend that game unless you're very curious. Anyways here, we can choose our character here, we got uh, Emily Hartwork, played by actress Judy uh, Coomer, which I have not seen, I have not seen a single movie that she has appeared but she has been blown up a lot lately in the movie industry, so I'm gonna have to watch the movies that she's in. I heard she was in Free Guy, with the one uh, movie with Ryan Reynolds, which I'll probably check it out. But yeah, I don't know too much about the actress, so I'm curious to see how she's gonna portray the character in this game. And then of course we got uh, Edward Carmi, played by David Harper. Absolutely love this guy. Stranger Things. Um, 
even the new reboot Hellboy, which I admit the movie was kind of eh. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. But I think he did a pretty good job playing as Hellboy. Uh, but I love him in freaking uh, Stranger Things, though. So I'm happy that they happy that they actually got him in a video game, which I think this is his first video game project. So um, I'm curious to see if he's gonna do any more roles in games or not. But you know me, like I said, since I. I love the actor playing this guy. Uh, I'm gonna choose Edward Carnaby, of course. Uh, now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like Resident Evil 2 remake, where if you play as two characters, their playthrough will be this, will be different. Uh, I heard it wasn't, but I heard there is a lot of different dialogue options. Uh, so maybe we we'll do a new a new playthrough as Emily, maybe. But for our potentially first playthrough. We're gonna play as uh, Edward Carnby here because, come on, it's David Harper. He can't say no to that. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. He can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Chapter one. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait, right, here we are. Oh yeah, I forgot to I have to tone down my sensitivity DPI because this game has some insane uh, DPI. Like in the menu, it's slow, but when I'm aiming and turning around with the camera, it look, look, look how fast that is. <laughs> but yeah, it's insane. But yeah, here we are in the game. And as always, it has the same third person shoulder overview like Resident Evil, so you can definitely see a lot of inspiration taken from the remake Resident Evil games. And uh, if, if we go to the options here, we do have the player guidance old school, so that means there's no text highlighting, no map highlighting, uh, the, the dynamic objectives hints are also off, so pretty much every single hood that, that will show you where to go. Uh, it's not gonna show up. So we're gonna try to play the game with old school where we find things on ourselves. But if we can't uh, figure out a situation, you we'll probably turn it back on to uh, Martin. But for now, we're going old school, baby. Cause that's how the OG Resident Evil games are. You don't got all this glowing highlight stuff. You play the game, you figure it out yourself. Okay, we got ourselves a flashlight here. Let's take that. Now, what do we got here? And I'll solve a flashlight, which is extremely old school, very old. And we got a kitchen key, and a kitchen garden key. Now, granted, this is a pretty bright ass flashlight for being in the old days, so yeah, not accurate, but eh, it is what it is. Now, just to be told, I don't know too much about this game, but it piqued my interest, cons considering that uh, it is a remake of, you know. An old franchise that pretty much brought life to Resident Evil, so of course I have to try it out. I did try to record it, uh, recorded this game last night, but it was a big mistake because I did not took any naps. So by the time I started recording, it just hit me. My body was like, "Go to fucking sleep right now!" And you know what I did? I shut it off and I go to sleep. And it's probably a good thing I did because I was recording the game and I noticed there was no game audio, so it would have been a fuck playthrough if I recorded this whole game without audio, but since then I have fixed that. So I'm looking at OBS right now and it's picking up audio, so it should be good. Okay, there's the kitchen garden key to open this. Okay, regardless though, it is a decent looking game. It's not groundbreaking as you know. It's not groundbreaking as uh, Resident Evil. But it's not a bad looking game though. I think this is an Unreal Engine game. Hello. Oh yeah. I think nah, this is locked. I'm not getting in there. 
Yeah, I need a key, which it's gotta have something in there, right? Uh, what's in there? I can't tell, but it's gotta be something important. Uh, this game does have a. Okay, do we got? Do we got limited stamina? Let me see. I'm gonna spin around real quick. He is gapsing for air, so maybe I do. I think we got. I think we got unlimited sprint. All right, let's see. What's this here? Hmm. Something's in there, but we need some something in uh, something like a pole to get it out from there. All right, let's go inside the house, shall we? Open sesame. Hello, Mr. Bird. Now, I did play the demo of the game. And the demo of the game was extremely short. Like, it was like 10, 15 minutes top. So, yeah, it was like extremely short. Uh, extremely short uh, playthrough of that demo. Which I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted more, but I get it that it was somewhat of a tease. So. But now we're playing the full game now, so That's we should big treat if it's inside a conservatory. So now we should be getting all the juicy stuff now, the full content. Housekeeper's key. Got a tree here. Looks pretty ominous. Huh? What? Or what? It whispers. I'm not sure I like that. And then that's why he went, huh? The tree whispers. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, let's go in there, shall we? Housekeeper's key. That's what. Does this game has an inventory system Death like settled. Resident Evil? The old plantation building was ready to fall but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Combe figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. Huh. Nice little narration for the judges. Excellent. Oh, this is all collectible, isn't it? Now, as I can see, a proof that I did play the playthrough of this game. I found some collectibles. So, yeah. We found some of them, but not all of them. So, hopefully, so that's me. We're probably not going to have to find the collectibles again, which is nice. Don't mind if I do. Medical items. So, the flash is going to be our medical item. Uh, we're all playing the game on standard because there's no achievements in being the game on hard. So, I was like, eh, might as well play the game on normal. Be a lot less stressful, you know. Uh, let me get this first, and then get the Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I have found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you. Our Heavenly Father, I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. 
the world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, I am in, as you saw earlier, I got myself some burgers, so I am going to be going off cam for now until I finish that hamburger. So we got Colts involved, which is never a good thing. So something is definitely a miss here. Gotta find out right now what the hell is going on. Well, f the place is definitely not abandoned. It definitely looks like it's been tatered, it's been taken care of. So I don't think it's not abandoned. Okay, this is where to cut the meats. Ooh, got chests here. Got another drink here. There's an achievement where you can beat the game without using a heal flash, but something tells me that's not going to happen. I think I tried it with Village, and I, I abs absolutely failed. I'm definitely hearing sound up there. Also, who the hell leaves revolver bullets out in the open like this? <laughs> Uh, like, I get it's a game, but, you know, it's, it's kind of gets you thinking, it's like, why would there be, you know, bullets around to get... Uh, like I say, it's just a game, so it is what it is. Uh, can we go in here? Yes, we can. Okay, which way do we go? Do we want to go out this way? Or this Uh, let's see where this leads. Okay, we did have another door here. This one might be locked if I remembered. Now, this game is being made by an, in an independent developer. I need the key. Oh, got no key. So, that's why the game doesn't look, you know, triple A high quality, uh, quality like Resident Evil. But I have a feeling that this game might be, you know, I think I'm, I'm gonna have a good time in this game. I say it would be nice to get, you know, into the Alone in the Dark universe. Because the game hasn't, you know, there hasn't been any new games in a while. Sabotage! Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. I like it how they got the accent pretty much on point since this game is taking place in Louisiana. So they have a very distinctive accent. And I like it that they replicated that pretty well. That doesn't look safe. Gonna need some sort of missing piece here. Don't got any piece, so can't fix that. Broken valve. Oh, can't get you there unless I want to die. Let's see what's upstairs, shall we? Hello? Department of Agriculture? Oh, door's locked. I think that sign symbol means it's locked on the other side. It would be nice if you had the option to switch, you know, two different characters like how like how Resident Evil Zero does, but I think that probably would have made things a lot more complicated in terms of the the game mechanics and all that stuff. So maybe it's probably the best idea to didn't do that. Okay, so we're here. 
Oh, that just does a lot. And we got the, the, the plaza nice. key. Uh, log medicine key. Uh, box. Uh, can't open that. Medical items. And a diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Some interesting stuff going on here. I think Grace was the little girl that we play as in the demo version of the game last year. I is the map. Oh yeah, because it brings out this. Okay, well let's see if we can let in uh we can let in that's a library, we don't mm. got the key to that. I need the key. Does it work? That does work. I'm gonna go upstairs first though. I'm gonna go upstairs. It's wedge shot. Son of a bitch. You know me, I like to go exploring. Hmm. Looks important. Nope, can't get in there. You know me, I gotta check everywhere before we move forward. That's how I roll. No secret left behind. But it looks like for now. Oh, I got the bucket in now. You know, I probably missed somebody looking up behind me, probably. Have to look at the videos again. Hello. Oh. It's a nice looking place. Don't got the, the keys key. for that. Or at least have the courtesy to lock everything up. Go to here? Yes, we can. Don't mind me stealing shit. <laughs> the Great Depression. President Ooh. Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau, and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Okay, that's enough his history lesson for today. Now, something tells me that name is going to play a big role. Oh, got some collectible. I'll be taking that. Oh. Ah! Mm. This is, I need the key. This is, the, this, is the, this is where we left off from the demo where the girl went in here. And she got greeted by a big ass creature from the shadows. Let's see what happens when we do this. I need the key. That's nah, not gonna happen, goddammit. Hmm, not sure I should go this way. 
know, many things that we have missed. Can go this way anyways. Alright. Well, can't go through there yet. So gotta let Emily in. You better not move, Mr. Bear. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable how? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here. And we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Look around. See if we can pick up any clues. <laughs> yeah, I would be the same too. I wouldn't take no for an answer, but like, fuck that. <laughs> well, we gotta find a missing piece and realign all the boxes. The puzzle doesn't seem to be that hard, which I'm fine with that because I suck at puzzles. Hey, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> what kind of what, is, what kind of reflection is this? <laughs> now, granted, I'm grateful it's there, but holy shit, look at that! <laughs> Not sure that's how mirror works, but it's kind of like me doing this. It's kind of like that. <laughs> holy shit! Uh, it just looks weird to me. A little bit funny, so I just gotta put a comment on that. Yeah, it's like it's like capped to dirty frames per second too. <laughs> uh, okay, so oh yeah, I forgot there is like a sneak mechanic in this game, which I have a feeling we're all gonna need. Now, what we got here? Also in my burger, so every night the dog have to go all cam again. Opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarraway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pierosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one mission. Nope, I did not mean to cut him off. 
Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another, scenes conjure out of the fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, uh, Senorita. Is there anything I could do for you by burying that bleak necropolis, that, tri that triumph chapel, which is above the ledgers and the oven vaults, shall be your sculpture? This are some crazy freaking words. Well, you may rest, and I shall read. This is a lot to take in. We're probably not going to read all of this. But just for the Lord's sake, we will. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock, with its astronomical motifs, would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. There's a staff member who's like in the picture. I can't imagine all of them are probably dead or stuck into the other world, but there's... The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All would be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. This guy seems a bit crazy in the mind, but he may be telling the truth. We shall see. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe. Except for me. But that's why he probably had gone missing. Sign a pack with the devil is never a good thing. Oh, the painted tile truth. Man, you suck, Emily. What the hell is this? Oh, talk to her. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. No way. Now, let's see. Paint the towel. Now we just gotta mash these things up. Obviously, seems pretty easy. <laughs> nice. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. All right, come on. I want 
want to go see Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? Welcome to the, yeah, welcome to the other side of the world, huh? Maybe you should have looked into that thing too long. There, at least we got some bullets. 25 shots, that's all we got. Can't unlock that. Whoa. It's time to explore this uncharted world. Even the pictures are a little bit fucked. Can't go to this door yet. Oh, there's those a lot. We do got a health meter, too. Try not to get hit too much. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not good. It's our first creature battle. Hello? Alright, sneak mode. Ah! Oh shit! Oh 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 oh! Ay 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 ay! Oh! It's not like it's not like Resident Evil, where you can run to the door and just get out of there. Okay, that's our first combat encounter with a creature. Still got a lot of health, so don't need to drink the flask yet. Alright. First combat encounter. It's a little bit janky. Kinda has that same Resident Evil aim where you shoot the bullet, cause it would get bigger and bigger. I can't go that way. Good. Can't go that way. This is the only way we can go. Well, it's a good thing you got that gun. Alright, let's keep it doing enemies will use to distract him. Tap quickly to, or hold the aim. Okay, uh, go over there. Huh. That sure didn't make any difference at all. Multiple directions to go. Not sure we could go to this hotel. I can only carry five. Uh, let's see. I can't go here. that way. Okay. Go in here, though. That's a bad idea. your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would think a man gone bad. No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. 
It's some magic charm he got for Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compad. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Huh. That's these heat. Alright, we are... At least we got some friendly faces here, at least. Finally finished my burger, so webcam is on. <coughs> uh, Miss Jackson, so the voodoo pit, this priestess. What the hell? There's nothing in here, dice. Preserve web tile. More collectibles. Well, we're assuming this is not part of his shop. We we'll go to here. You got anything else to say, buddy? You want to come along? Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm alright if you see it. Okay. Any more things to say? Alright, I'm heading out. Be careful out there. No, it seems like a friendly guy, so... That's all the dialogue options we got. Okay, I'm going this way. Looks like we're going out this way. Okay, we are going. You know, we should close the door, but the, there we go. Now the door is closed down by itself. Full of drinks. So it's good thing we went this way. So it looks like. Oh, what the hell is that? Don't like to look at that. <laughs> I don't like to look at that over there. Let's make sure we get all the supplies. Ooh. The pipe. Can we use nice. melee weapons now? Oh! Yeah! Got my face. Damn thing came out of nowhere. Now we got this thing here. He is moving out of the way. Oh shit. Did not, did not expect to do that right away. Hmm. Which way are we supposed to go? Go over there. Ah, you sneak so slow, buddy. It's good to see me. It does not see me. I'm very surprised it did not see me. Also, we went the wrong way, too. We went the wrong way. It looks a bit tough. I better sneak past this thing. Just maybe. Could just kill it too. Right, I'm thinking I'm just gonna walk away. Over there. I'm outy. Okay, do got a hatchet of some sort. I'll use that because I think that pipe's about to break. See, what's up with all these bicycle bells here? Just gonna tap it once, and that's pretty much it. Let's see. 
Get the heck out of here. Gotta be careful, I could get ambushed here. If we got more of those things out there. There's some sort of ritual here that I... What? That's right. Tom is a little bit janky, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Granted, I couldn't do nothing about that. I tried to stealth it, but he burst out of the walls. Okay. Oh, shit. What are you, my man? You look disgusting. Wish to make him crouch a little bit faster. This is slow as fuck. <laughs> Come at me, buddy. Come at me. Oh. Taking some damage now. Took a whole mag to kill that big thing. Yep, that was not avoidable, unfortunately. So, it is what it is. What is that? Ooh, more collectibles. We're definitely not gonna get that achievement. The way we're not gonna use the health flask because we're already taking some damage already. Yeah, they want us to sneak all of you from there. This, there's no way. Hello. Oh, I recognize Miss this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. We shall see. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Hey, yo. The old talisman shaped over century. The engravings of the numbers look to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished back sensor in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Hmm. To use that talisman to get the heck out of here if we wanted to. Let's not do that yet. I'm, I want to want to explore. Can we go to any of these rooms? This room here we can go to. Oh, are you kidding me? Can't get in there. All right, going back to the real world. I think it's meant for the talisman. Boom. Uh, how this works? I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Okay. Let's check, shall we? Let's check if there's any numbers at all. Okay, so it looks like there is, I think. So I think we go from eight, five, and three. Eight, five, three. Let's try that. Showing something. A place? Where is that? Yeah, I guess that right, because I was fucking lost. I'm looking at the number 358. 358, huh. and still didn't go through, but I guess I got that right somehow. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going then. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. 
we came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, it's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, Detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Detective Carnby. How did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No. It's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something out. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. 